Harmeet Dillon is the chairwoman of the Republican National Lawyers Association and, of course, a famous lawyer herself. She joins us today. Harmeet, thanks so much for coming on. So I noticed, I'm not a lawyer, but I noticed they didn't charge him with a crime. If it, if it was a crime, why isn't he being charged with a crime? I'm confused as to what this is. Well, look, as you mentioned, Letitia James came into office bragging about how she was going to get Trump. She seems to be obsessed with him and, you know, denies the legitimacy of his election. And then it took her three years to get to this point. And some would say that because she's trailing in the polls in her race for attorney general, this is time to help boost her uh, ratings. And that's really what this is about. So you're correct, Tucker. She could not find any crime that she could indict President Trump for. She has referred this matter to the Southern District of New York in case they can find something. But let's look at what she did file on. Uh, in in uh, New York State, fraud has a six-year statute of limitations. So they're really basically focusing on things that happened before Donald Trump became president and his family members got involved in the government, like Ivanka Trump. So they're really looking at very stale old stuff that nobody bothered about until this time. And what we're really talking about is differences of opinion about valuation of assets that were heavily negotiated with banks. And so Letitia James's complaint, 220 pages worth, belies a shocking naivete about the realities of business, about the realities of how properties are financed, about how businesses operate. And it's really, like you said, very small potato stuff. And if it were done by anybody else, it wouldn't be the subject of a complaint like this. And so this is entirely political, Tucker. And it is not how a attorney general of the United States should be using their awesome political power. So if there was a victim of this fraud, it would be the banks. But my understanding is the banks didn't complain about this. Did I get that right? There are no victims. There, this is a victimless <laughs> right. complaint. Nobody is complaining and the banks all got their money back. Everybody is happy uh, except for Letitia James. Or meet Dylan. Thanks so much for coming on tonight. Appreciate my it. My pleasure. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. I'm Tucker Carlson tonight.